Well folks, very good morning to you. Welcome along, it's Cotley Kaika here. Good to have your company. Today I'm with Craig and we're having a paddle on the flat calm Fosdyke navigation here in Lincoln. Just look how flat this water is. I mean, it's literally not moving. Hey, how nice is that? We're just going to have a steady paddle uh, Lincoln Way. Um, both me and Craig are not feeling that fit this morning. His shoulders are hurting him and um, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling tired for some reason. Not sure why I slept well, but there you go. Uh, probably because my football team got hammered yesterday and I'm still not quite over it. But anyway, looking forward to this paddle. My bit my uh, kayak. I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear the pump. It's just finishing off my kayak. Well, folks, finally on the water. There's Craig. Morning, Craig. Morning, mate. Mm. He's in his uh, faithful sea float with his stabilizers on the front. Still trying to get those right, really. But um, I think they're probably a lot better today. Better than they are at the rear, weren't they? Man, it's calm, though. Isn't it? it is calm. Dead flat calm today. So yeah, on the um, Fosdyke navigation. Beautiful morning. I mean, there's not a breath of wind at all. Lots of people about on their boats, pottering around. So we've got a bit of wildlife, heard some woodpeckers. So, so far, so good. So we're just having a paddle into, uh, into Lincoln. And then I think we're going to go into the Brayford um, and sort of bear right and have a paddle along the Witham that way and see where that kind of takes us. So uh, we've only been paddling, what? Let's have a look. Just, just under two miles. Um, it's taken us just over 30 minutes, but literally paddling at maybe one, two mile an hour. Um, just kind of putting the world to rights as you do. But a lot of people out this morning, really quite busy. Spring is in the air, I think. Well, so here we are, just made it into the Brayford. 
where all the fancy boats are. Nice morning, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, so um, me and Craig went to uh, York Marina um, yesterday in West Yorkshire. And um, for the last, I don't know, six months or so, I've been toying with the idea of getting myself a little um, Shetland um, river cruiser. Anyway, recently I've been thinking about it more and more, just really just for a little adventure for myself and my grandson. Um, you know, he seems to be taking a liking to the water and boating, so I thought we could have some adventures together. So, um, there was one for sale at the, uh, at the York Marina. Me and Craig went there yesterday, really nice boat. Um, and uh, anyway, cut looks very short, I bought it. Not quite picked it up yet. I've got to go back and, and get it. Um, but uh, really excited about that. But it's um, going to give us a bit of fun, I think. I don't think it's going to overtake my enjoyment I get from paddling. But I will be doing some videos on that just to break the channel up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'll be picking that up this coming week. And um, one or two things I need to do for it. I want to do um, I don't need to but I'm going to and um, and source uh, um, a four stroke engine for it <clears throat> it's got a little four HP auxiliary engine but I just and it's got a two stroke engine on it but I think it's pretty much buggered I'm not sure I'll get someone to have a look at it but I'm still going to be looking out for a more fuel efficient four stroke um, electric start as well I think so uh, yeah exciting times for me I'll be looking forward to that so I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated and, and share some videos no and that fancy boat mate that one yeah blimey So the plan today is not to uh, burn anything. I'm going to turn it down even more. Mm. Bloody burnt it. Mm. Oh. I don't know how. this in without spilling it Medium to well done, I think. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's done. Now, the tricky part, transferring it. Well, I hope I've got the camera at the right angle, because um, 
Gonna have a taste of this <coughs> piping up. I'll tell you something, Craig. If they dished you up that at the restaurant, you wouldn't complain. So, as I said earlier, we we put in at the Pie Wipe Inn and had a paddle towards Lincoln, got to the Brayford <coughs> and bared off, sort of veered to the right hand side to keep on the, the width and went through some really, a couple of quite low bridges. And we paddled, I don't know, about a mile <coughs> out of Lincoln city centre. We just found this little place here to to sort of get out and uh, have a cup of tea. Um, but we're not gonna go any further, I don't think we're just gonna, um, just under four mile. So we're gonna feed our face and then go back. Oh, this is bloody nice, this. A lovely mild day. Um, no wind. A lot of activity, a lot of people about. Seen a few rowers. Um, nothing else has been on the water. No narrow boats or cruisers. <coughs> We've kind of had the water to ourselves. Quite a few swans. Mm. The only problem with eating a breakfast like this, I, I get a gut sake on the way back. Indigestion. Mm. It's the only downside, but... Okay. We've got some lemons in the back. Yeah. So, I'm going to eat this while my water's boiling for a cup of coffee and then um, get back on the water, so catch up with you then. Lovely. You know, it's rather, really rather quite pleasant just um, chilling out here on a glorious Sunday morning. Me and Craig can't work out our bearings where we actually are in Lincoln. He's disappeared to try to find a road to get an idea. But isn't it really nice? Here's the kayaks there. Water's got a bit of a flow sort of left to right. <clears throat> it looks like turquoise in colour. I don't know whether the camera's actually picking that up. But uh, two swans have... Uh, with us since we've been here scratching around and foraging <clears throat> well mate what did you find a good reference on one of the signs itself. you know where we are then do you well we'll work out when we get if home. we sink you know how to get we know we'll how to get home will we, we? Get <laughs> oh, <dear me. sighs> right so well, i suppose well, good. Go. oh it's found a pound it probably fell out of my pocket oh uh, uh, yeah I did have a pound in their pockets, and it's like a pound to put. Exactly. Yeah, it is a, it is a pound. Well, yeah, sometimes they are, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Anyway, we we'll drink our coffee and uh, make tracks back. It's very, very nice here. Just uh, not anywhere comfortable to sit. I normally bring my little stool with me, but I haven't today, and I've been sitting on that. It's, not very good for your backside. There you go. No park benches. No park benches, no. Normally there's little picnic areas, isn't there, for, yeah. for the kids and that. But there's yeah. nothing, nothing like that, fortunately.
friends. So fed and watered and back on the river and just heading back into the Brayford. So we've got a couple of really low bridges to um, navigate through. On the way back it was uh, a bit of, on the way here sorry it was um, on the way out it was a bit of a challenge. So now we've got to do it again. So I'm going to let Craig go first and try to get an idea of just how low these are and then um, I'm going to have a pop so I'm going to spin the camera around and have a look to bend down so literally my head is like millimeters away from the top here <laughs> so I'm pretty much laying straight flat on the back this one this one's okay and this one will stick over to the left as it arches upwards. There we go, we're through, we're out, falling in. And there we have the Brayford in front. Right, homeward bound, not too far to go back to the Pi Wai Pin, so I'm going to put it on uh, iPolapse just for the remainder of the journey. We've done a total. Let's have a look. What have we done? Now, just over seven mile we've paddled today, and it don't feel like it. It's been that nice. Dead calm, not a breath of wind. Uh, river. On the way back, we had a little bit of tow helping us. Um, so yeah, been brilliant. Um, brilliant paddle, and um, and a nice breakfast as well. Even though it was slightly burnt once again. So uh, if you have liked the video, please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, we'd much appreciated. And until the next time, safe and happy paddling.